here's the camshaft from the uh, compressed air engine uh, this one is uh, double lobed so it's a regular speed uh, camshaft uh, like a normal four stroke engine would have so this lobe here is uh, the uh, air inlet lobe sorry air exhausting lobe normally on the Briggs engine this is the intake valve lobe but I use it for exhausting the air so I'll just try to give you a view there of it now this lobe has uh, about a hundred thousandths uh, lift on each side I believe that's probably less than the stock Briggs and if you look at the second lobe here that's the air inlet lobe or lobes and uh, it only has uh, 35 thou of lift so you can see it's it's hardly any lobe at all there like one one line of weld down ground down but uh, anyway and they're they're not quite uh, can we say uh, 90 degrees apart like the, the the exhausting lobe there is not quite 90 degrees from the peak of the inlet lobe. I tried to draw on the end there, but it didn't work out very good. But anyway, uh, I'll uh, make another video showing how it works in the engine. I'll attach it to this video. So just showing uh, how the camshaft works out for timing in the uh, compressed air engine. So the piston's going down the. In this case it's the exhaust valve, but we're using it as intake. It opens up, piston moving down, and the valve is pretty well closed now. Piston's at the bottom, in, air outlet valve opens up. That's the air out, just continues to move up. The valve closes just as the piston reaches the top. Same thing on the second lobe on the camshaft. This uh, has a lot longer uh, inlet air duration than I thought it did. Uh, in order to make it less, that's why I went to the full speed camshaft because it works a lot quicker.